Hey everybody, back with a new episode of The X-Files. Last episode, we wrapped up the two-parter. The vaccine that we got from the Russians worked. Goo vaccine. Goo vaccine. There's a alien civil war, apparently. Um, Smoky Man alive, for sure. With a child. With a child who looks just and like a child. Good question. Who's child? Who would procreate? Oops. <laughs> um, I think Mulder's probably back into the believing bit <clears throat> more now because he witnessed. Yeah, we're back stuff. to baseline. Yeah, and and uh, Scully was able to do that regression therapy or whatever, and remembered where everybody almost got. I mean, everyone got burned. It was pretty devastating on the bridge. Oh yeah. Thanks for letting me remember that. Yeah. That's awesome. But then that lady, um, yes, Smoky Man. Oh, What'd you we call know it? his the frequent flyer. We know the we know who his mom is. It's the lady who got taken. We know that. Yeah, he's 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 her son. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Wait, so Smoky Man got with her? Sounds like there was some conflict of interest. <clears throat> Unless he, like, impregnated her without her knowledge, which the show loves to do. <laughs> it's like the, it's like a common theme throughout the show. It really is. <laughs> um, but I wonder when he's going to make himself known to the X-Files. Yeah. Because we know about we, him, but they don't. I don't... Mm, finale? Maybe. Oh, we got the movie coming up, so maybe in the I finale. Know, and that's exciting. Be in the movie. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, well, this next episode is called Mind's Eye. No, it's not. It's called Travelers. <laughs> Mind's Eye is next. Travelers. Okay. Sounds like it would be. Sounds alien y. Yeah, it sounds like it would be an alien. So, maybe, I mean, maybe. We'll see. Here we go. <gasps> Flashback. Go ahead and open it up. Why does he need the fool's gun? I know, it's an eviction. What is it? Ain't nothing but a glove. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, no. Oh, disgusting. Oh, what? In 1990? Maybe his dad? You are Arthur Dale's former special agent with the Bureau? Mm -hmm. I need to ask you some questions about a man named Edward Skur. I don't recall. I, I brought the, uh, the case file here with me. <laughs> the victim's internal organs had all been removed. And now you found him? Yes, last week. Shot to death by a sheriff serving an eviction notice. Well, if he's dead... There's nothing you need from me. Look, sir, sir my, my name is Mulder. I'm sorry, sir. I, I, uh, I, don't, I don't see the connection. This means Maybe you're young. not supposed to. Senator Joseph McCarthy and FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover join forces. As those Americans sympathetic to the communist cause. God. Let's just burn it. <laughs> what does the serial killer have to do with McCarthyism? Good morning, Mr. Dales. I brought you some coffee. The coroner wasn't able to determine how. Oh, I. Is it freezing in there? What is going on? Was he uh, smoking? What I can't tell you is what. It said in your report that uh, Skur was suspected of being a communist. That's what they said. They all were. I need to know this smoking. So this is very important. I know. <laughs> My name's Arthur Dales, ma'am. I'm with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Azazel! Is your husband in? What do you want with him? Supper's getting He's also in Lost. Okay, kids. Oh! That guy. I thought maybe you heard about Skur. What about him? He's dead. He hung himself in his cell. The guards found him about 20 minutes ago. He definitely didn't. What do you figure? Commie Central Command tells these mopes to snuff themselves and they've got a capture? No matter what I said, I was the man who busted her husband. Turned her life upside down. 
and for what? This has gone bad. I sat anymore. there for over an hour trying to find my courage in a bottle. <clears throat> Not so dead. Now it was my life that we turned up. Garrett Dillahunt. <laughs> Uh-uh, 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 that's how he does it! Ew, no, ew! Maybe he did die on somebody posing in a skirt? Maybe. Maybe you want to change your description of the suspect who assaulted you. I feel like this guy is, is like the Last OG night. Mulder. Two hours before you say skirt attacked you. I already filed my report <laughs> an hour ago. Did you leave that out of the report? report? Call for you. It's the Justice Department. They want to talk to me. Get any bright ideas. Communist. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever happens to him, he becomes a crotchety old man. Is that Mulder's future? Vermin who dare call themselves Americans be exposed as the traitors they are. I don't interest myself in politics, Mr. Well Do you want me to amend my report? I want you to want to make your report. Take out any reference to a good screw. We're gonna browbeat you down, man. Oh. That's a gross body. It's a degloving injury <sighs> of your whole body. I'm Agent Michael. This is my partner, Agent Dales. Who called you guys out here? You did, you mope. We got the call from your departments. Said the doc didn't show up for surgery this morning. Mm. Well, something tells me he ain't gonna make it. I'm trying to save that man. But I was too late. Skirt killed him. He'll kill you too. Who's that? Some guy. Some guy. The crimes these men have committed against innocent people. I can't have that on my conscience anymore. Someone needs to know the truth. Who are you? My name is Mulder. I work at the State Department. Is that? Mm -hmm. So once upon a time. Myrtle. That's hilarious. So once upon a time, Mulder's dad was just like. Well, that's Mulder. your fault. You saw that cat. Yeah, just knock it over. Who is this day you want me to arrest? You can't arrest these men. Why not? It's political. I hate it. Ew, fucking fuck. Uh, 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 uh. That was... It was really well done. There's <laughs> <laughs> a kitty cat. You gotta adopt Myrtle. You gotta take Myrtle. See? You're a patriot again. How's it feel? When your partner dies, a piece of you dies with him. What about Myrtle? I'd been threatened by Mr. Cohn, but I couldn't leave it alone. Not while Michael Killer was still out there. See, him losing his partner we'll made him go deeper partner. into this. Yeah. This is why they keep Mulder's going together. I recognize one of these names. It's in an X file. An X file? They had X files like cases. this? I filed them under X. Huh? Oh you my god, she started it. You for unsolved. That's what I did until I ran out of room. I want you to cut this man open. No, I, I can't do that. It's found above my head. Kissing and a man named Skur were patients of the same doctors. Oh, this is gross. This is a gross episode. <laughs> Whatever this is, I'm going to put it there. Oh, 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 what was it? What is it? Oh, that thing! What? No, 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 no. It's coming out. I was coming with a face hugger or a spider. The grafting of another species into the human body. It's a procedure that Nazi doctors experimented with during the war, and I believe that they continued their work here using your husband this and these other two men as a many test subjects. Way worse, honestly. I want to expose what was done to your husband, Mrs. Skr. I thought I told you. 
Let's let this go. Get in. Gonna break your spirit. Just get in. You're hiding him? Oh, get out of there. The threat of global communist domination. It looks like King Pen. The reality <laughs> he that does. can be ignored only at the risk of our own annihilation. So is this why you came to see me, Mr. Mulder? Make me your stalking horse? I follow my orders. He's kind of like the original Mr. X. They want him alive. They want me to kill you, or you wouldn't be here. You're part of that test now, too. But I don't know he you. doesn't die. I know. I mean, we know either of them don't. No! of our life. He let them dictate his conscience. Oh, don't fool yourself. None of us are free to choose. I was ruined for my insubordination. You keep digging through the the X-Files and they'll bury you too. Didn't turn. I even thought that maybe Maybe some poor innocent bastard, somebody with a conscience, might have let him go. Himself. No, it was Mulder's dad. Mulder's dad. In the hope that also, by letting him live, the truth of the crimes that were committed against him and the others might someday be exposed. By his son. Oh. But also, he killed someone in his house. Yeah, I was about to say, he's gonna keep killing. We saw in the stomach, or you saw in the stomach, I <laughs> listened. Yeah, it must be just like reproducing. What if it's like a little portal and then they're crawling out one at a time? Inside of his stomach? Mm -hmm. I hate it. <laughs> Maybe it's just like a self reproducing thing, so it matures and then one of them comes out and then it. Okay, but like he didn't have a house full of dead people, so he was yeah, able that to. That we know of. Like maybe the rest of them weren't in the house. So does that make what Mulder's dad did a good thing? It makes it a thing that he did. But I do feel like they were trying to like walk him back a little bit. Yeah, he, he definitely were. He doesn't have the greatest reputation on the show so far. I but. just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I don't see how he could have only killed one more person. Than I he know. It. Maybe that's why but he shuttered himself he away. Yeah. Maybe that was the house owner. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, this was, this was, an, it was, this was interesting in the way that it shows like the cyclical nature of yeah. what this endless pursuit is. Um, it's always, the government covering shit up like this was the but individuals first. within the government are like no I don't want this covered up forever so I'm gonna yeah. leave a trail to be exposed by the next person yeah but you also don't want Mulder and, to end up like that guy and you have to work within the confines of the government to yeah. like you just just skirt the line like you said yeah but it is interesting to see Mulder's dad's role in that. This is a new look that we hadn't seen previously. So he was, you know, I think I have to put him in the same kind of category that I put Marita, Mr. X, mm -hmm. and Deep Throat. The ones that are the most willing to work within the confines of the system, but also do but also their like part. For the people who are like kind of outsiders, like guide them. Mm -hmm. They they're like they have to be morally ambiguous. They have to be like I'm sacrificing mm -hmm. like what I think is right. They're the people who are like greater good over like over their individual like work like worry about their own morals. Yeah, because they're like I am sac like if if we genuinely feel that way, they're like every day they're like sacrificing what they believe is right. Yeah. 
to find out more information. Which is tough. Yeah. And m maybe is the most right thing to do, but also like everything has to have like a line, you know, when is the greater good not worth the, Oh, so what are you going to do? Completely lose like all like your, 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 your line to the information by getting, getting dead or kicked out. And then you just letting the system continue I'm also dealing with this right now. It's supernatural. That's why I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. They've been having to weigh the greater good a lot. Yeah. And those people seem necessary in the show. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a show at all. But you also have to have the balance of the person who's not willing to But go. that, I mean, like, if you're talking like that person's Mulder, but he works within it. Like, he has That's people more, protecting him. It's more Scully, I think. They, she also has people protecting her. Like, Skinner. Right. But I think she's one that would, like rationalize in the way that it's like how much how much sacrifice is okay like it was it okay to keep this dude alive for the hope that potentially maybe something would come I mean, of it the only reason why anything came of it was because he was evicted you know 30 some almost 40 years later and now Mulder knows about it but does it really change anything yeah. Other than the truth well, is exposed to someone. To someone. But it's a, a truth that we already know. Mm. It's tough. It, but I, I like the, the moral quandary of it all. Uh, I like the noir vibe. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Yeah, kind it was of definitely like, a different episode because we didn't we got like old X Files, not like I'm really older. surprised we didn't see I mean, they got the guy on retainer. He's in this season. Yeah. Why would you not have young smoking men? Why wasn't anybody there in Congress to be like, you know what? Communism and totalitarianism aren't always the same thing. Yeah. Because it was of the time. Of the because time. of the time. Because of, because of the 40s. <laughs> that is why. That is literally why. But it is another... U.S. Russian conflict, which is what they're dealing with now. With, Always, I mean, honestly, endlessly. Um, so I do, I do love the parallels here too. I mean, it's basically the same setup, although the uh, Dale's got his partner killed, and that just would not happen now. Oh, absolutely not. So. Maybe, maybe Smoky Man was, had a view of what was going on, but wasn't directly involved. And mm -hmm. like this informed the way he. It's hard to believe that he would have no hand in. Well, at this point, he was just a fucking assassin. There's no one to kill. He didn't, he well, didn't have... yeah, there were plenty of people to kill. He maybe didn't... he killed uh, the person who was Skur in the cell. Possibly. Um, but he doesn't have the power that he has now. Yeah. Or had. Because now he's working out of a cabin. <laughs> Writing a book. Writing his next novel. Next great American novel. Um, I mean, the traveler was disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I like them. I know. But, also, <laughs> but that's just like another iteration of what they're dealing with now. Like all of this shit just comes back on itself. Yeah. I would like by the end of the X Files for Mulder and Scully to actually have changed something. Maybe. maybe I mean, I would like it. But maybe in the new season. Maybe that's why they came back. Uh, it's. I mean, change something, and then there's going to be more to change. You know, there's more to fix. Always more to fix, yeah. but like, I want to see the fruits of their labor in some way. Exposing some sort of truth, not just. I just don't. I just don't truths. want Mulder to be that guy. Yeah. Well, he's not. But I mean, in the end, he ended up talking to knew him, so you know he didn't completely give up the ghost. Completely interesting. Um, but uh, the conspiracy of it all, I just like. Brain empty sometimes when that shit starts. I like, oh, like, uh. 
which which white guy did what. I just don't even like. I'm like, who are these people? Well, there were familiar faces me to me in this episode. Garrett Dillahunt, who is in so many things. Yeah, he's just in a bunch of things. Well, he's you just, recognize actors, so that helps you. He's a that guy. I have facial blindness. <laughs> That's your new. I think I do. <laughs> I like. I don't have hair blindness or like. You just have to be really distinctive. Yeah, and uh, or I like maybe I just need to, like, look at a feature and like remember. I try to do that, but sometimes multiple people have the same feature. Well, especially when it's all like these old white men, and all their hair is the same because it's the fifties. Yeah, it's hard. They're all wearing hats. They're all wearing hats. (laughs) (laughs) They look the same. Okay, well, I I like this episode. I like the change up of it. I agree, but also it's just. I don't think it's going to be, like, top five or anything. More government like, conspiracy to wrap your head around. And, uh, of course, like, the aesthetics are always on point and right. more. You know that's a big, like, like if I have, like, a ranking of, like, reasons why I like an episode, that's, you know. What is it? It's the, well, just one of the them. Aesthetics. Is, one of them is going to be uh, aesthetic. Yeah, for sure. It's not, definitely not going to make me, like, put an episode up super, well, maybe it does it with movies. Like, this isn't going to be my favorite either. Yeah. But I, I and it was fun. It was, it was fun. fun. It, was it was a fun a, change it was up. A change up, yeah. Especially coming off the alien heavy that we just got out of. There were aliens, though. So. Very, were. very much like alien, alien, aliens. aliens yeah. yeah, face hugger style. Okay, well, good episode. Good eater. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.